last night so it could look really crazy or it could look really nice um and we're about to find out because this is how you're taking me today i am tired and yeah that's that's it oh okay give me a second i'm gonna go figure this out Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog at home. Thank you for joining me. You were all commenting on my last video. That was really nice to see me back at my parents' house because that's whenever you started watching my videos. It feels so full circle to be back and it feels like you guys have like grown up with me this year and what a year it's been. That's basically the premise of this video. We're kind of doing like a reflect and reset I'll talk about that later, but first of all, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I'm so excited to be working with them as someone who is creative and curious and always looking for the next creative thing to start. If you don't know what Skillshare is, they're an online community with thousands of inspiring classes in art, photography, writing, productivity, and so much more. They have classes to fit any skill level or schedule, from introductions to procreate to building habits that last. I'm certain that Skillshare will have a class for you. You. I'm currently taking Roxanne Gay's class, Creative Writing, Crafting Personal Essays with Impact and have absolutely been loving it. I have always been interested in writing, it's something that I've found so cathartic. I've journaled my whole life but I would love to be able to take that into the kind of sphere of essay writing and writing for people and not just for myself. So that has been so interesting and something that I really want to work on in 2021 as well. I cannot recommend Skillshare enough, I just think that they are an amazing platform for exploring new skills and deepening existing passions and they are always launching new premium classes to keep you inspired in whatever you love. So if you guys would like to try Skillshare for yourself, the first 1000 of you guys to click the link below will get two free months of Skillshare premium membership which is just amazing. You can try out so many classes in that time and just explore your creativity. I hope you guys have a happy new year and thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The lighting just got like really intense there. Um, I hope that wasn't distracting but we are gonna have a little catch-up chat. I just need to figure out where I can like place this. Okay. Oh, there's like construction work going on in the house beside us. Some new people have moved in, so. There's a... This isn't my room, by the way. I'm in my parents' room. It's just got the best lighting and it's cuter than mine because all my stuff is in Dublin. Um, got a few questions about this quilt. My mum makes everything. Um, I think she did this Patrick one. I feel like my whole childhood she was sewing this and then finally whenever I was a teenager she was finished and yeah this is really cute. She makes all her own curtains. Ines is so wholesome. You guys know that. So to start this video I kind of just want to have a little catch up. I feel like I haven't spoken at length a lot in my videos recently and that's probably because I've been quite stressed and anxious. Sometimes I find it really stressful just like talking to a camera. Um, I don't know why because apparently I am a YouTuber now but I'm actually really bad at just like talking in front of people. Anyway, no more excuses. I was doing some journaling last night. It was the winter solstice and there's a big conjunction and a lot of good energy in the air and a good time to just write down all my goals and what I'm trying to manifest for next year and like the next few years. Um, I'm so sorry for all that noise. I just spent a while kind of reflecting on this year and I don't know, it's mad how quickly this year has gone by and also what a shit show just in general of a year. 
no one saw that coming everyone was like 2020 like new decade it's gonna be great and holy shit <laughs> this year for me has been so abnormal both with the pandemic and also with youtube because in 2020 i basically started doing youtube properly um in quarantine and look where we are now like i can't i can't believe it um i it just doesn't like it doesn't feel real and i feel like everything's happened within this short period of time that i haven't been able to like process it i've kind of just been like going with the flow and then every week i'm like uploading a new video and i haven't like really sat back and been like good job like actually like good job i'm so proud of myself i scripted about this at the start of quarantine about how i wanted to have such a loving and positive and wholesome community online but i never thought it would be like this this is a whole new level i am so grateful for you guys for all the love and support and it's just more than i could ever have imagined um and i don't want to get emotional because i'm a cancer so i probably would cry but I just want to say a big thank you um, for getting me through 2020 and I had some of the sweetest comments on my last video about how we were like growing up together this year and like being back in my parents house feels really full circle and just a lot of thank yous saying that my channel has been a safe space for you guys and that's all that's all I could like want um, and if I can like help one person feel a bit less anxious or calmer I've I've done my job um, and that's just like what I want to do with life why why am I getting emotional um, but I always said even whenever I was younger like the one thing I want to do in life is to like make people feel something and whether that was like through creative pursuit or just like a relationship with someone I just wanted people to make people feel because I feel so deeply I'm such a cancer like look at me I'm actually getting emotional over this but um yeah I didn't think I'd achieve that like goal so early on in my life um and it's only something that I want to like build up on so yeah um thank you <laughs> so I was journaling about my big dreams and my ideas and potentials for 2021 and what kind of steps I could take to get me there. All these prompts, of course, were from Wellness with Sophia. I'll leave her link down below. So I'll talk to you guys about a few of them because I guess that's kind of good to put it out into the universe, like good for manifestation. So number one, I really want to move abroad in 2021. That is like my main goal. And I know COVID might put a bit of spanner in the works there, but travel just inspires me so much. I love experiencing new cultures and seeing different places and trying new foods. I think moving abroad would really help my creativity but also I want to learn what it's like to be alone. I don't think I've ever properly been alone for an extended period of time. I did my au pairing in Italy two summers ago um, which was like five weeks and it was a very lonely five weeks but I think if I'd stayed longer I would have been able to get over it. I don't know where I'm gonna go, it's all gonna depend on what countries are open and where I can get a visa but for postgrad I really want to move away for like four or five months, somewhere warm, sunny, maybe tropical and just be by myself, focus on creative pursuits and then also have somewhere where like my friends can come and stay and that would just be so fun. It's so bright, is that better? Number two is to focus on creative pursuits and that does include YouTube and Instagram and kind of like content but I also want to focus on more personal creative things like writing, I don't know, art. I wrote down that I will absorb better content to be able to produce better content and I think that goes back to what I said about social media and making sure you're like following people who are inspiring and motivating and positive but also absorbing content that's like not screen based like I want to read more, I want to study more art and listen to more music and podcasts um, are podcasts screen based? No, not really. I think if I work on that it will really help improve my videos and improve my own creative self and yeah I mean I don't know a lot like I really don't so I definitely want to keep continue learning um because that will help me grow as a person. Number three is more of like a hands-on goal um and I feel like you guys have to kind of keep me accountable for this. I want to learn Korean and then also maybe Indonesian because I don't speak any Indonesian and I feel very embarrassed about it like my mom speaks it fluently she speaks Malay and German as well 
but she didn't raise me bilingual and that's not something that I can like be angry at her for but it is something that I could work on myself and if I ever go back to Indonesia I would want to be able to speak to everyone and then with Korean I feel like I absorbed so much Korean content already that it's kind of silly that I haven't started learning the language like all the music I listen to is in Korean my favorite youtubers are Korean shout out to Candy Cool she's like literally the best and I've gotten so into K-dramas recently I am watching Crash Landing on you right now I'm halfway through and guys it's so good like I actually can't believe how quickly I'm watching it they are so cute I don't think it's as good as it's okay to not be okay but it's a very close second and my last kind of main goal for 2021 is to learn how to prioritize I was talking to my friend Anna about this we always have the best chats and FaceTime so shout out she has my whole heart but we were both saying that we always are juggling a bit too many things at the time like I feel like I've started three or four books um I'm working on like four things for college and then I've got YouTube and Instagram I think if I could try to prioritize a different thing every day and just be able to work on that I would be able to get things done more efficiently and to a higher level hopefully I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how I'm trying to organize everything and how I'm going to make my goals things that I can work on on a monthly basis and a weekly basis and a daily basis I guess um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this little chat with me let's get on with my day mama made soup what's in the soup vegetables vegetable tofu vegetable food, so nice having food prepared for you <laughs> Wild green shite. No, wild green sight. <laughs> Jane as well. So I know I just said that I am reading way too many books at the same time, but I have two more to show you guys. The first one is Siddhartha, I think, by Herman Hesse. This is a recommendation from Leah and I'm so excited to read it. It's a fiction, but she said it had some really good points just about life and spirituality. So that's going to be interesting. And then the next one is Becoming Supernatural by Dr. Joe Dispenza. I have heard about this from Hitomi and I think Cardia. Um, it's non-fiction, looks kind of scientific, so I definitely think that I'll be taking notes with this one because I do find non-fiction books harder to understand, especially if they're on the topic of spirituality. We're just getting in some fresh air. Beautiful day. Clear skies. Scotch, 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 scotch. It's a dry robe. I know. I'm, I'm not ashamed. <laughs> She's a dry robe girl. Kitchen, get on 